Home is also a special place for Jan Brett, the award-winning children's illustrator. Something you'd pretty much guess instantly when you walk through her door. Does art imitate life or does life imitate art? Every book that I do, then Joe and I decide our favorite picture from the book, and then it goes up in the wall. Jan and her husband, Joe Hearn, a string bassist in the Boston Symphony Orchestra, have lived in this Norwell house for 23 years. We love the light wood and the kind of rustic feel of the houses we saw in Norway, and we try to um, replicate that. I think I may have illustrated about 25 or 30 books now, and with each book, it takes a year, and you just immerse yourself in whatever uh, place that the book is set. So, for her book, Armadillo Rodeo, a trip to Texas brought back western boots and an armadillo. Fine pottery came home with them from Norway after a trip there for Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Brett's own front door made the pages of Annie and the Wild Animals. And there's real live inspiration, too. This is our bluebell. And they lay eggs for me, which are delicious. And the most importantly, they pose for my books. And you're good at that, aren't you, bluebell? In my books in the borders, I often put needlepoint, and I think it started when I was traveling a lot and had nothing to do with my hands. This is an old Swedish chest, and it's in my book, The Hat, which is set in Denmark, and we have exposed beams and lots of windows and light, which is something I need for my work, and just feels, makes me feel creative. Mm -hmm. 